box down below. Today we're going to be going over the living room, the cheese room, which is just the sitting room, but I like to call it the cheese room. It's kind of like the tea room as well. Then we have the dining room, foyer, and one of my favorite rooms in the house, the home theater. Love that room. So I'm really excited to show you guys everything. Let's get into it. This is the dining room where we really don't eat that much. We actually mostly have work meetings in here. And actually my mom went to go give me lunch one day and she was like, oh, you don't want to eat in here, right? Like as in like she was afraid I was gonna ruin the table. I was like, this is a dining room, remember? <laughs> We're supposed to eat in here. I think the only time we ate in here was Christmas and that's about it. But I think that's how it goes, right? Everyone has a dining room or like a big formal table that you usually sit at, but really you're sitting at like your countertop or coffee table like Steven and I used to love to do. Almost everything in here is from Restoration Hardware. So <laughs> including this beautiful, buffet. So we have like some of our linen in here, linen napkins. We got these like placemats from South Africa. So we have some stuff like that in here. These, contrary what the people have believed in the past when they see my videos or pictures, these are not horse ass. These are horse necks. Very elegant, love animals. And you know, I have a love hate relationship with horses. I love them. I don't know if they love me. So I have them up here anyways to show them that like, I love you, just love me back. And we also have some breadsticks in the corner. That's what I call these things, breadsticks. They're just to fill space, honestly. I don't know what these are for, but they look like breadsticks to me, so I call them breadsticks. Here we have beautiful curtains. When all the formal living spaces of the house, we did the white curtain with the black trim. I felt like it kind of dressed it up a little bit more, made it look a little bit more formal. It's in this room and the cheese room, which you'll see in a second. We got these at the shade store. I didn't realize how much money window treatments cost. Like I was shooketh. But anyways, I had to get a custom rod because of this window, it's like a funky shape. So it was really nice and I really loved the outcome of it. But again, hella expensive. I just put this in here because I felt like it needed a little color, a little liveliness. This is from Costco. Costco carries these trees randomly and they're like 25 bucks. Everyone gets them while they're hot. And we just got this one's recent addition to the household. Let's go back to the table here. We have, again, Table and chairs are from Restoration Hardware, also the chandelier. The way this looked before, we kind of had a weak chandelier up here that wasn't really my style, and then I liked more of a clean vibe in here. These are from Pottery Barn on the table. This is just a really pretty way to dress it up. You could change up the, the flowers. I never do, but you can for different seasons, maybe add some color. Again, I never do. However, I'm just saying, it can be done. This is our gallery wall that we have. We picked really special moments for the wall, just different times that I wanted to remember. Of course, we have our pups up in here. Uh, when Stephen and I walked the red carpet for Michael Costello. I love the top right picture because that is the very first moment in our new home here together and that's a huge accomplishment for us and i love these photos too and i love that they're black and white gave them like a very old hollywood vibe these are from cb2 everyone always asks uh cb2 has the plug for frames they have all different sizes colors it's just the tits the living room i'm sure you guys have seen this in all my snaps but i'm showing you anyway this is one of my favorite things about this house, and that is the pocket doors. They open all the way. Boom. We'll start off over here. This is, um, again, Restoration Hardware. I love Restoration Hardware, and I hate them at the same time. You know why? They have nice, big, substantial pieces, but honestly, they're so expensive, and their shipping is always like a nightmare. But anyways, whatever, it's fine. It's fine. She just set the mood, my mom. Look, she wanted to make it look bouge. These are from the Perkins Produce Garden. What? Yeah, look at that, perfection. Again, another Costco purchase here, this uh, tree. I love having plants, because that's the color that I bring into the home, is plants. That's the only color that we have going on in here. And then again, these baskets are all from Home Goods. This we picked up from, this is from Aldic. Planned pottery type store, Christmas decorations, 
These actually I got in downtown LA. I need to get pots flowers, plants, downtown LA is the way to go. Here we have a piece of bark. It's just decor. We have a Versace book and then this one, which is one of my faves. This is actually called Elephants in Heaven and you guys know I'm obsessed with elephants. I mean, how stunning are they, these creatures? This I got from Home Goods. It's a little vase. I thought it looked nice here. I need a little height on this side of the table. And then of course we have my Home Goods blanket under there in a basket. Over here we have this really cool side table. I love this. It has like almost like a tree stump kind of marbly design, which I love. It's organic, but it's also modern because the legs have chrome finishes. You know what I mean? It's just like a little bit of a little bit of both. Here I have a weight ashtray. I don't know why. I don't, like, nobody uses this, but it was in a PR package, and so I just thought, you know what? That's cute. I'm gonna put it right there. Some coasters, because ain't nobody putting any rings on my tables, okay? This rug's from Restoration Hardware. This is an indoor-outdoor rug. I suggest if you have kids, pets, whatever it may be, this rug can be outside and inside. And if it can be outside, that means it's industrial strength, baby. Very, very good for a lot of foot traffic. This couch is one of the things I get asked about the most. This is from Restoration Hardware again. And honestly, I wanted to invest in this couch because it's not the cloud. It's not the cloud. I don't like the cloud. The cloud is like too saggy for me. I'll put in the description box which style this is. I don't really remember off the top of my head. But what I do know is that it's a perennial fabric and that is super, super heavy duty. So supposedly if you spill wine on this, you can clean it off. I'm not gonna test that theory, but it's really nice because again, I have the dogs, my friends have kids. Canoli jumped up once with her muddy paws and got mud everywhere and it just came right off. Insane. And that alone was worth the money. I do vacuum it all the time. I feel like if you have white couches, you have to vacuum them. Um, especially if you have dogs and stuff. I mean, if you have any couch, you should be vacuuming, okay? But that's how you keep it extra white. <laughs> I just get a lot of questions on that. These pillows are Pottery Barn, I believe. The big white ones with the black piping. I love these. These are Resto, Restoration Hardware. Again, same fabric. Anything white is that fabric. Very important. This is the coffee table. Love this. Again, um, everything in my house is very earthy, so it was nice to break it up with this coffee table that has like the chrome and the glass finishes. I love it because the edges aren't too sharp. I'm always like cautious about things that we buy because I just don't want any like super sharp edges, but these are rounded off, so it's nice. Still glass, but you know, whatever. This is from Restoration Hardware, if I didn't already say that. Again, some coffee table books. This is one of my favorite candles. This was a gift from Jen Atkin when I first moved in and I'm obsessed with this candle. I love the way it looks. I barely ever light it because I don't want it to run out. It's amazing, it smells amazing. Here we have crystals because crystals carry good energy and we have them all throughout the house. Again, some moss. It's just like a vibe, you know? Like it's just, it's just a vibe. We just have moss. That's, that's the greenery that I choose to put. So this is actually my favorite book in the house, right here. This book is actually all of the pictures Steven and I took on our South Africa trip. And I'm really proud of all the photos that we took on this trip because honestly, National Geographic, call me, okay? Are you kidding me? Like if I ever decide I don't wanna make YouTube videos anymore, like beauty videos, catch me sending in my photos to National Geographic. Are you kidding me? What? Look at this. This was one of the most epic experiences it's very meaningful to me, so we keep this here and I always look at it, love it. We have a serving dish down here for the days that I wanna eat, you know, on my couch. And then we have this piece, which is one of a kind, one of a kind decor. Oh, it moves, so. <laughs> Again, just a little basket, home goods basket and uh, some extra throw blankets for, you know, if you get chilly. It's cashmere, so I keep it in there because I don't want anyone to use it, honestly, low key. If you ask for a blanket at my house, best believe I'm gonna give you the home kids one. This is a bench. I wanted to have the most optimal seating without making it look too crowded in here. So we put a bench in. Still doesn't feel like there's a heavy piece of furniture here. So I like that benches are always good for that purpose. Again, chingaderas here, you know, chingaderas for design. Let's move on to the bookshelves. Shall we? When we first moved in, this was all white and I wanted to add some contrast. We painted the back of the bookshelves black and then we just, you know, 
styled them up a little bit. Lots of books. I'm obsessed with coffee table books, especially obsessed with Vogue because they have the most amazing photography you guys already know. I genuinely love all the fashion books because of the photographies. This basket we actually got in South Africa. Steven and I brought it back. And then we just have, you know, some cute things. This is from Restoration Hardware. Some candles. I love when people send candles as gifts. This was also a gift and I keep it here, I love it. Again, this is another um, side table, Restoration Hardware. It's a little different than the other one, which I like. Still has an organic and modern twist to it. And then this is kind of the same vibe as the other side. Again, all of our books, a little driftwood. <laughs> Basically just copied it over here. Stylizing shelves is like a whole, it's a whole situation, you know? Um, so just a lot of books. This one has just like a ton of photography. I want to make a book like this one day with like all of the photos and images that we take. This is like something I want to do in the future. Putting it out into the universe. I love this. Cute idea. And here we keep like junk, honestly, if I'm being real, you know? Like stuff I don't really want but I don't know where to put. Our books. You know, I love me some books, okay? I have lots of books. That really concludes the living room. This is our main living room. This is where we do everything. This is the spot that we hang out at, me and Harper. Cannoli always chills over there. She unfluffs my pillow. Yeah, I'm talking about you, bitch. Directly across the living room, we have what I like to call the chisme room. It's like the tea room, but it's chisme. You know, this is where all the aunties, las tias, everyone comes and they sit here. Yep, 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 yep. There's no TV in here, so it's all cheese mint. All the shit talking is recorded. See, we have a camera in here. <laughs> if anybody talks shit on this side of the house, I have it all recorded. Now, you know, the reason we have the camera here was because we were doing the investigation of who was peeing on the carpet, and it just never, like, moved, so we should probably move that. I don't like having cameras in the house, just all around the house. The round tables from Resto, again, literally everything in this room is restoration hardware. I'll just say that right now. This is a formal space. So I have the white curtains with the black trim. I have this like artwork up here, which I think I'm actually gonna switch out. I'm not totally loving these dots. I want something a little bit more, I was thinking maybe I'll paint something and put it up there. I think that would be really cool. I feel like I'm all over the place in this room, but there's really not much to say about it. It's very simple. It's just another sitting room. It has the same couch, just like a smaller version, same material, nice little coffee table moment. This is really where Cannoli and Harper like to chill. They always sit on this couch. It's their, it's their spot. Bitch. Bitch. This is the front door to my home. My dad and I painted this door. So it's special, you know what I mean? Oh, Steven helped too. He was in the background like, I love this foyer because of the black tile. I think that's really cool. It's very pretty. It has a nice design. And then we have these two grand bookshelves on either side, which I also love. Restoration hardware, again. I really do love the coloring of these bookshelves and they match the living rooms really nice. Again, they're just styled. Lots and lots of books in here. These book holders, Steven and I got from South Africa as well. And then it's just kind of styled up, you know? We have a bunch of stuff, again, more interior design books, a bunch of cool things, little knickknacks, some greenery for color. I love this. Boom. And then this is bolted to the wall because, you know, earthquakes, okay? But the vase is not, my friend, so <laughs> do not stand near here when there's an earthquake. And then up there, is this beautiful chandelier, again, restoration hardware. I saw this chandelier a long time ago and I just knew that when I had my own home, I would have it in my house. And I absolutely love it. Stunning, stunning. All right, this room is one of my favorite rooms in the house. This is like kind of what got me with the house. This in the backyard. This usually isn't here, this collage you're seeing here. We had this here from pictures that we took and honestly, the whole team here spent so long doing this that I almost feel guilty taking it down. They could have done it in the studio. <laughs> but you did it here. This is actually the other door to get into the theater, so let's go. This is the theater room. Come on, Cannoli, come in the video. We are huge movie buffs in this household. We watch movies all the time, we're obsessed. I am like the kind of person that will watch a movie 500 times. Uh, this is where we just lounge, have some popcorn, 
This couch is from Living Spaces. Everything in here we made sure it was like kid friendly. Um, so what's cool about the living space couch, this is not an ad by the way, I paid full price. This is a rug that I got from uh, Wayfair, right honey? It was like a really good deal. This is a massive rug and I think this was 150. I like that it's not white, it's not black, but like if you get a stain on it, it's totally fine because it's a little camouflage. And again, these walls are like, Soundproof. They're tufted fabric, so it's really nice. And then over here, this is a very controversial item. So I've been wanting this popcorn machine for a really long time, and I never got around to getting it. And right before Christmas, I was like, oh, we should buy the popcorn machine because when the kids are in here during Christmas, we can make popcorn, it'd be so cute. So I bought the popcorn machine like two days before Christmas and Katie almost killed me because turns out that her and John bought us this popcorn machine as our Christmas gift. They were so pissed. They said, who buys gifts for themselves the week before Christmas? So technically, I'm just gonna say that this is from Katie. Thank you, Katie and John, for the popcorn machine. And then we have some candy up in here, you know, if you want some snacks. I like to mix Sour Patch Kids with my popcorn, that's kind of my thing. Again, curtains from the shade store. These are total blackout curtains, so it's really nice because you want it to be super dark in here. And then over here, we have all of our games. I love me a good game night. Some of them I haven't played. I actually haven't played the Jumanji game yet, which I think I remember I opened it and I was like, oh, I have to learn how to play a new game, and then I closed it. All right, so let's turn off the lights in here and show you guys the theater. years ago. I fought my way out of that cave. Became Iron Man. Excuse me, sir. Yeah? I'm trying to watch a movie. Get out of the way. That is it for today's home series because I'm tired and the popcorn's hot and fresh so I have to eat it like before it gets cold. What do they say in the MTV Cribs? You don't gotta go home but you gotta get the fuck up out of here. Okay? Bye. Come on. Bye. Go, go, go. We are rolling. We're very busy right now. There's a fly in here. It's coming for me. She's doing very important things right now. I dropped a piece of popcorn there. That was smooth. You see that? Very regal slippers. I do say so myself. The vibe for this home tour series is a little different than the last one. 